Why would anyone need a motorbike these days with an engine displacement comparable to one can of beer? Well, there's a method in this madness and Honda know what they're doing. On the verge of the 1960s and 1970s, Honda introduced the CB450. It was neither fast nor advanced, but it had an important goal – to persuade new clients to try riding a motorbike. A motorbike which is light and easy to ride. If a client likes it, he or she will buy something bigger in the future. And then there is also usability. In the city you need a light, agile and fuel-efficient bike. And this is the case with the CB500s. Notice I'm using the plural. Like last year when Honda introduced the NC700 triplets, also this year they decided to introduce three bikes with the same engines and uh, the same frame. Standing behind me here is the CB500F, a Street Fighter. There is also an Adventure CB500X and a sportish CBR500R. Uh, in Europe, you can ride these with the A2 driver's license, motorcycle driver's license, so uh, it's a good start. With prices starting at around 5,750 euros in Germany, you don't expect much. The layout is logical, the dials are simple, but even here you get an instant and average fuel consumption readout, as well as ABS. All this is standard in Europe. I'm sure some of you out there have mastered riding on one wheel and you say you don't need ABS. Well, in everyday traffic there is no place to control a slide. Ready to ride, the uh, CB500F uh, weighs around 190 kilograms. Riding this bike is a piece of cake, you just lean into a bend and it turns. The front fairing is good enough for motorway speeds, but uh, on longer journeys this bike will get tedious. The, uh, small engine is better at speeds below 100 kilometers, uh, but you do have to remember to keep it above two, two and a half thousand RPM, otherwise it will start choking. This is especially annoying when making sharp turns in the city. It's uh, better to uh, kick it down to first gear then. However, uh, there is no uh, gear indicator and you do have to make all the six gears work. Honda claims average fuel consumption of 3.5 liters per 100 kilometers. I averaged 4.5. For me, the CB500F is a city bike, especially if you don't live anywhere close, twisty mountain roads where you can enjoy its agility. On long straights, it's just boring and tiresome. I think the NC700 series motorbikes make better all-rounders, especially the Adventure NC700X.